Infancy is stage one of Erickson's theory of psychosocial development. Basic trust versus mistrust. Infants must learn to trust others to care for their basic needs. The mother or primary caregiver to the infant is the key social agent. If caregivers are rejecting or inconsistent in their care, infants will view the world as a dangerous place filled with unreliable people. I know it's hard to breathe when you put your face down like that. By four months of age, an infant recognizes his or her primary caregiver. This is the beginning of the slow process of differentiation. By six months, infants know that their caregivers are different than strangers. By eight to ten months, they may develop stranger anxiety and separation anxiety. Stranger anxiety is an amazing shift from the child who smiles and babbles at an unfamiliar face to one who cries, becomes uneasy, and even screams. It's important to build trust in any child, but especially starting with infancy, because they don't have ways to respond and communicate with the nurse. So the nurse has to key in to the fact that this child needs to develop that trust so they can feel secure, so they can feel safe, they can feel um, comfortable in their environment as an infant. First, you have to be very respectful to the caregiver and to the child um, and establish eye contact and to introduce yourself How are you? because that actually How are you? is a sign of respect Good. and actually um, it makes it very easy for the person to talk to you. I'm Anne, one of the nurses. I met you before. Okay. And David's here for what today? Uh, he will be six months check up for uh, a shop. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Mrs. Nee, and if you could, you can use this table and undress him. Okay. Especially with children, you don't want to rush in and just start undressing them. You want to be very gentle. You can put his head right up at the top here of the stadiometer. Yeah. And then I'll hold his feet and we'll measure him. So let's get those right up there. Mm hmm Okay. And you can hold him, hold his head like this. That's it. Well, then you can hold right there, and I'm just going to measure how long you are. That's it, honey. Well done. And try to explain every step that you're doing to a parent, especially a new parent, or if you're even taking a temperature on a baby. You want to tell them every step that you do before you do it. And then we'll put him right here, and we're going to measure his head, because it's very important to measure the size of the head to oh, tell how the baby is growing. Because the head can actually grow quite rapidly at this age. Infants are nonverbal, okay, so sometimes it's very difficult to uh, communicate the with them. It's a learned behavior. Yes. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> we're going to see what size hat you're wearing, huh? Is it like this? Oh, all done. All done. 45 centimeters. Very good. How many inches he has? Well, I'm going to tell you, he is. With infants, you want to be very close so they can actually look at your face. You want to talk in a calm manner and a little bit in a high-pitched voice so it doesn't scare them. Your touch is very important. You're not going to be rough with them. You're going to really um, touch them and swaddle them and really make them feel safe and comfortable. Now, we're going to take his diaper off and we're going to put him on the scale. Okay. you make now. Now, have you noticed that when you stand him up, he kind of bears weight while you're holding him on his legs? Does he like to stand at this age when you hold uh, him? Yeah, sure. And he, does he You want him to sit or stand? I think to, he'll have to lie flat at this age because okay. he can't sit unassisted at oh, this really? time. Oh, really? Okay, so you lie up again. Wonderful. <laughs> David, you don't mind this at all. So he's 7.6 kilograms, or 16 pounds and 15 ounces. Objectively, I look at the child, and I see the correlation to the story that the parent or caregiver gives to me, and how the patient is acting with the story, because that's very important. Um, also, we get most of the subjective information from the parent, and the caregiver does know the infant better than anyone else.